Hey everybody, I want to wisdom here. Saturday, March 9th, 2013, last night, and uh, on, well on into early this morning, we actually unboxed six new Skyliners, at least, uh, you know, on my end. Uh, Wrecking Ball, Spiral, Ninjini, basically the magic trio, if you will, and then uh, Chill, Le I'm sorry, Legendary Light Core Chill, Molten Hot Dog, and Jade Flashwing. Gonna go ahead now, this will be part 101, fittingly. Uh, may actually upload these before we do the adventure packs. That said, I was pretty stoked that uh, well, we're dropping a ton of frames. We're not doing anything, but uh, I was pretty excited that I uh, got the adventure packs done at exactly part 100. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why the screen is freezing up. It's a uh, record where like 57 seconds, I'm saying that so I can kind of sync my audio, but we'll go ahead and uh, kind of pack out of here. I uh, went ahead, cleared the ship out, picked up all the cash, and we were going to introduce first Series 2 Wrecking Ball. Alright, so new heroic challenge. And three magic Skylanders collected, elemental power increased. Uh, Again, why they held Spyro and Wrecking Ball this long, uh, kind of, I mean, Spyro, I understand, I explained it in the video, my logic for it, uh, you know, probably just to get people back in the store, uh, Ninjini, I mean, some giant had to be the last one released, but Wrecking Ball, seems like they could have released him earlier, uh, nonetheless, you should remember him from Skylander Spyro Adventure, kind of a Kirby-esque, uh, kid-friendly, adorable little blob, <laughs> you know. Uh, of course, if you go by the story scroll, he's actually a grub worm. Uh, I noticed last night when I registered him on the uh, Skylanders universe, his voice was kind of out there, sort of on the lines of Zaps, but I guess it fits knowing that he is a grub worm. So, uh, nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and come in. Uh, now what the heck we'll do is different. Uh, his primary attack will be the A button, uh, base tongue attack, has decent range, uh, nothing too crazy, and then his secondary attack that he has is going to be the spinner. Uh, issue there, you know, some people have trouble controlling it, some people don't. Uh, gets crazier as you go, but we're going to go ahead now, come in and take a look at his stats. I have no idea what he said. <laughs> anyway, max health 270, speed 43, armor 24, pretty much generic stats are there, critical hit 20, uh, elemental power 39, no heroics just yet. Uh, did hear back from Cassie last night, says both Spyro and Wrecking Ball have the same heroic challenges. Wrecking Balls, I can't think of what it was, the name bouncing for charms or something along those lines but it's the one with like just a crud ton of bounce pads where you have to get the lucky charms and uh, depending on what the Skyliner says when you jump it can be annoying in that aspect but uh, we'll come out now take a look at his powers uh, wrong button <laughs> alright so his base power we showcase is called the tongue whap slap enemies with your super tongue uh, next one is Force Field Ball. Summon Magic for a Spin Force Field Charge. Again, those are your A and B button attacks here on the Wii. First upgrade, Magic Ball Control. Force Field Ball can be controlled and it does increase damage. Power Bell, so this one was kind of amusing. Uh, it's a tertiary attack. Press Z to release a burp attack. We follow that up with Tongue Evolution. Your tongue grows longer and does increase damage. And then we have... Uh, Digestive detonation. This was interesting. It's kind of like a secondary uh, add-on to the tertiary attack before picking a path. That's why it's kind of unique. But hold Z to charge up your burp attack. Uh, I remember doing that quite a bit in Quicksilver Vault. Now you get to the point. You've got your two upgrade paths. You basically got. I think they were called Total Tongue and Ultimate Spinner. Uh, series one Wrecking Ball in the last game. I took him down Total Tongue. I just seem to use it more. It was a quicker attack, you know. Uh, probably going to take this one down Ultimate Spinner just to see what it's like. And, uh, you know, then you can always switch back since it is a Series 2. Uh, Lightning Tongue. Your tongue can attack quicker than ever. 
tongue grabber. This was pretty cool. Uh, tongue does extra damage and can pick up food and power ups. So if you're low on health and you've got like a stash behind you, instead of having to run there and you know getting hit by an Ultron or something, you can just kind of take advantage of that. Uh, tongue super max. Your tongue grows even longer. Then. If you went down the ultimate spinner, you've got force field blast. While in your force field ball, press B to create a force field explosion. That may be the most useful one uh, in terms of this one. Swath of terror. Force field ball is larger and does even more increased damage. And lastly, it's got to go somewhere. While in your force field ball, press Z to create a powerful burp attack. So that one's, you know, probably the more playful of the two. May take a little bit more, you know, mastery, you not just button mashing or something. Like I said, I'll probably take him down that one, see how we like it, and go from there. His soul gem, enemy slurp. He can swallow smaller enemies. And then most important thing, series two wrecking ball is the reason you would want to pick him up if you have series one. Uh, and you're not just, you know, like a huge fan would be his wow pal. Uh, this looks pretty good. Wow, pal, Disco Ball. Hold, <clears throat> hold B to turn your force field into a magical Disco Ball. I don't know the damage numbers, I don't know how effective that will be, but I know it's going to be hilarious, and that alone makes it worthwhile to me. So, uh, as soon as I can, as long as I don't like screw up and you know like pick a path before I can get that, I'm going to buy the Disco Ball, and by gosh, I'm going to use the snot out of it. So. Uh, that said, we'll take a look at his quests. Uh, just FYI, I'll probably say this in each of these videos, but I've had that quest data log or worksheet or blog post, whatever you want to call it, uh, ready to upload for quite some time. However, it would have lacked, you know, Spyro, Wrecking Ball, and then Genie, etc. Uh, with the addition of these three characters and basically the base out of the way, you know, I realized like Drobot is missing but his light core will be the same so uh, I will actually now be able to complete that when it's uploaded and so it'll have you know everything on it I think I may hold out though and make a video to go along with it because I realize there's people that just do videos uh, personally I think the blog post would be the way to go because it's just so much easier uh, one to read two to you know be helpful efficiently and see, you know, if you're specifically wondering about a certain character, instead of messing with a track bar, you can just scroll down and find it. But uh, nonetheless, basic attack or basic quest goals: kill a thousand enemies, win ten PVP matches, uh, complete a challenge level without taking any damage. Probably, uh, I tend to like Prison Break and Igniters for that one. But uh, I'm thinking Wrecking Balls could be easy if it's still a speed challenge. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, that'd be the way to go, uh, particularly once you get the path down. Chow Hound, eat 50 pieces of food, and Arena are just completing the arena without taking any damage. Now the Magic Specific, uh, 7500 elemental bonus damage. And we've got Puzzle Power, defeat 25 enemies with Light Puzzle Beams. And then lastly, Warp Whomper. Defeat one enemy within 10 seconds of using a teleporter. I think you can do that in uh, Igniter's Road Challenge as well. That said, the one that's going to be special for Wrecking Ball, Competitive Eater. I was thinking it would be along these lines. Now if you recall, his Soul Gym allows him to eat smaller enemies like the Chompies. Uh, I've heard to swallow 100 enemies. That should be fun and be something kind of keep up with and work on. But uh, there he is again. There's the basic tongue attack. There's the force field ball. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, trick over here to Cali. Yeah, we probably didn't have a month to sit and do it, you know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, play a rogue challenge. Hard part will be, oh, never mind, I stand corrected. I was going to say the hard part would be finding it, but as you can see, it oh so conveniently greeted us on the screen. So, uh, Jump Fort is the technical title. Jump around and collect 90 charms. You probably remember this one. Again, first thing I like to do heroic challenge-wise 
knock out all of the speed challenges and I'm stoked that this is still a speed challenge because now everyone I currently have has plus four on that line again. Uh, similarly though, uh, when you do the speed challenges it'll help you out in double troubles and zaps, you know, the tougher ones. Uh, you know, in the event that you have a character box stock that breaks the vases or hits paintings or something along those lines, having that extra speed actually does help out offset that. So, nonetheless, this was really convenient. We're going to go check it out. I may not remember Hope the best like path. Pads, uh, it seems like the way I was doing it More last time, I wound up in that like upper right hand corner You'll need of the to locked them very quickly doorway. There's like bounce pads in a circle, a giant one in the middle with like 12, and then there's that key that you take, and there's like 16 or so, and that's sad. I remember all that. Alright, so three and a half minutes, and we're just gonna have to wing this and see what happens. <laughs> Got a lot of air there, I just. There we go. Ah, I didn't realize you could go off the ledge there. I used to last game, I think it just like kinda locked you down or something. And now, having been used to playing with like the legendaries who I've done the speed challenges with and stuff, the low speed of Wrecking Ball becomes apparent. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave those because I think we can access them from that upper room. So we're going to track this way now. I probably should have gone this way first, to be honest. But like I said, I've slept a few hours since we did this last time. I know we could get a bunch of them up there, but uh, I'm actually just wondering where the heck the key is at. You've almost made it. Maybe it'll be up on that little pedestal or something. Yeah, that's where it is. So the sad thing is now we got like a lot of downtime because we've sort of you know, grabbed these already. Next time we go through, I'll kind of have my one it back. The good news is I think we're still going to make it for a long time. He is pretty slow right out of the box, but I mean, everything's right here. You can take all these. There's the ones in the middle, and then there'll be that, like I said, nice upper. Work. You can you see it right there. Deserve this reward. Uh, corner. We got the little lock storeroom of them. I may I actually get it there? No. Okay. So it is good we had the key, but uh, that just makes it really easy to do. This has dropped a lot of frames, I don't really know why. Uh, most of them are prior to actually doing anything, so I will just have to see how it syncs up. And we do not want to play one right now, that's my phone going off in the background. Bonus points if you can recognize that tone. Uh, heroic Challenger complete. That'll be the one to do it in because there's no enemies at all in that one. So Anyway, uh, I probably better see who called, but uh, that's Wrecking Ball. I'll let him clear the ship out, then we'll come back in part 102, and I uh, will introduce Series 2 Spiral. Cool thing about that, uh, we have that accolade faithful trio, uh, you know, add Spiral, Gilgrunt, Trigger Happy, 
that'll actually take care of that and then when I come back in 103 and we introduce Ninjini uh, that'll I think knock out another accolade so uh, be looking for that but again uh, this was Wrecking Ball's introduction and heroic challenge same as last time conveniently located at the front plus four speed uh, I'm real big on the speed aspects in the game not quite sure why we dropped 229 frames with the vast majority being before we did anything but uh, if at all possible I'll try to sync it up otherwise my apologies questions comments you can ask here on YouTube however for a much quicker response I suggest you use the blog link at the top of the video description box you can follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook circle me on Google Plus whichever you prefer as always thanks for watching and we will catch you back for part 102